Hi everybody, my name is Joey Fight from thephysicaleducator.com and today I'd like to share with you a fun target game that you can play at home called Bowl. Okay, so for the first build, we're going to set up some 6-pin bowling. Now the first thing you're going to do is have to set up some pin markers on the ground. And to do this, you're going to need something like some tape or some coins. So you're going to want to set up the markers in a 1-2-3 triangle formation. If you can, number the markers from 1 to 6 like you see here. For our challenge level later on, we're going to want to make sure that the markers are set up in a standard kind of way. So we're going to use an empty roll of toilet paper to make sure that the distance is right. There should be one roll of toilet paper between each marker in a row, and there should be two rolls of toilet paper between the first and fifth marker. So once you have your pin marker set up, the next step is to draw out your foul line. And you can use anything from a cord to some chalk or a belt. Just make sure that you have a nice straight line that's 10 feet away from the head pin. Okay, once all the markers are set, you're ready to set up your pins. Now ideally, you would use a set of six identical bowling pins to, on the pin markers you've set up. But that being said, you might not have access to that at home right now. So you can use anything from empty toilet paper rolls to markers to water bottles. Anything you can find around the house that will serve the role of a pin in this game. Once you've got your six pins set up, you're going to need a ball to bowl with and you're ready to get into some six pin bowling. So standing behind the foul line, you want to bowl the ball to try and knock over as many of the pins as possible. Don't worry if you miss the pins or if you get a spare. Just see how many attempts it takes you to knock all of the pins down, making sure to take away any knocked over pins after each attempt. In build 2, we're ready to explore a couple different pin formations. Print out the bowl challenge cards that your PE teacher has provided you with. If you don't have a printer at home, you can just use a set of playing cards. Just pull out all of the cards ace to five of each suit and mix them up and then use the bowl challenge card PDF as your reference key since each card has a playing card code printed on it. Once you're ready, just shuffle up the playing cards deck and pick a card. Your challenge is to set up the pins as you see them on that card and start bowling until you're able to successfully knock over all of the pins in a single attempt. Once you've done so, you can pick a next card and just keep bowling. In build three, we're ready to challenge a friend to a game of bowl. So if you have somebody at home that you can play with, that would be perfect. But if not, since the game is meant to be set up in the same way every time you play, you can challenge a friend or family member over a video call on your computer or mobile device. To start the round, challenge your partner to a round of rock, paper, scissors. Whoever wins that will be start off as the lead bowler. The lead bowler starts the game by drawing a bowl challenge card. Their partner is responsible for setting up the pins into the formation that's displayed on that card. Once the pins are set up, the lead bowler shuffles their challenge card back into the deck. The bowler then has three attempts to try and knock over all the pins in a single bowl. If they miss or if they get a spare, their partner has to reset the pins into the formation and get them the ball back after each attempt. If the lead bowler successfully knocks over all of the pins, their opponent now has three attempts to do the same shot. If they do so, the lead bowler picks a new card and the players go back and forth through this process. However, if the opponent does not knock over the pins in their three attempts, that player earns a letter, in this case a B. It's still the lead bowler's turn to pick the next card and keep bowling in the next round. If the lead bowler misses on all three of their attempts, the two players exchange the lead, and now the new lead bowler gets to pick a new bowling card. Play goes on like this until one player has earned all of the letters of the word bowl, in which case their opponent wins the game. So that's Bowl, a target game that we've broken down into three builds. If you're looking for more information on this game, such as modification, related assessment tools, the grade level outcomes it focuses on, or if you just want to share your experience having played it with your students, be sure to check out the game page, which is linked in the description below. Once again, my name is Joey Fight from thephysicaleducator.com. Thank you so much for watching and happy teaching.